Hey, welcome back to the show. Well, so let's begin the discussion. I have here in the studio former finance minister, Seth Tepe, and as I indicated, we will be getting on the phone to speak with Courage Boti. He is an economist with Data Bank. We'll see how uh, our search for solution will go. Mr. Tepe, it's good to have you today. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, you're welcome. And uh, <clears throat> good afternoon to your viewers mm. and to listeners. Very well. So we've been talking to some Ghanaian traders. Of course, we see the problem. It's big. It's a big problem. We try to break it down. Every, every one of us seem worried about the declining uh, uh, um, value of the CD. Do you feel the same? I think, uh, yeah. I mean, everybody, you know, uh, feels <clears throat> the impact of a depreciation. Mm. Um, obviously, when you're in office, the impact is, is twofold. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're in office, I mean, uh, can you compare yeah. this to how it was for you back then when you were finance minister, to how it feels for you as, you know, let's say an ordinary Ghanaian, for lack of a better expression, right now? Well, I, I still take an interest, you know, a keen interest in the, <clears throat> in the economy. You know, I do, you may have seen some of my, my writing, hmm. um, because I also teach, you know, students. So I have not lost much interest in the economy. It's just that, you know, the extent of responsibility <clears throat> as Minister for Finance, together with the um, governor, mm -hmm. you know, of the central bank, who is in charge of monetary and exchange rates, you know, policies. There may be the only other person who comes closest, you know, to is, is the president who feels, you know, the. You know the pulse. It doesn't mean that your other colleagues don't, but you have more or less direct yeah. responsibility. Yeah. So, so, so that pressure is off is yeah. off of you. But do you get the sense that, <coughs> as an ordinary citizen, as an ordinary Ghanaian, the feeling or the uh, the way you experience the the depreciation of the city is different from how you experience it when you are the one in charge and supposed to make the decisions to solve the problem. Well, when it comes to, you know, the general view about the economy, um, you can't even be insulated from the general view as minister. One, because um, you have family, mm -hmm. uh, you have friends, you have classmates, uh, you have people in policy, you have um, those who work under you, uh, who across, you know, the whole of society, and so, to the extent that people are cost you, they want explanation, you know, they make suggestions, you know, um, I'm saying that you, you, you feel that part as well, because you are part of, you know, society, even when you're in office. Okay. Uh, now is the extent of the official responsibility that, that makes, you know, the difference. But you were an ordinary citizen before coming, and as far as the city is concerned, some of this concern has been felt for quite some time. And for I believe quite some that we time. can yeah, we can discuss some of this. Okay. So let's look at the, the, the city's performance over, over over the over the years. Now, between March two thousand and eight and um, uh, between March two thousand and eighteen and and when the Bank of Ghana we understand put in some six hundred and seventy million dollars to just to help the city um, you know, boost itself up against the other trading currencies. We've not really recorded any progress, and I'm sure that you agree with me on that. What do you think is happening? Well, I think it's a time for, <clears throat> you know, sovereign uh, reflection by, you know, everybody, uh, because the city in particular was a subject of intense discussion and debate mm -hmm. during the last elections, and I don't have to go <clears throat> you know, over, over this. So together with, with issues like, you know, we will not borrow when we come, you know, to office. Together with issues like, you know, we can arrest the city, we know the fundamentals, somebody does not. I think it's a time for sober, you know, for sobering reflection by all of us. And uh, it's good you've gone, you know, back. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the lessons from going back is also that, you know, there are two, uh, they aren't the same set of issues. Some will be similar, some will be the same, but the issues and the economic situation differs at one time, from one time to the other. And I think one of, comparing the headline is enough. It's, sorry, it's, it's, it's a good thing to do. When you say comparing the headline, you mean which headline? Which is the rate. About? For example, how much 
is pumping at mm. any particular point in time. 670 million dollars yes. in 2018. Is that it? The extent to which the city has depreciated between then, between and, then now. and now, or between one administration and another? You know, I mean, such comparisons. Those are what I mean by by the headline. Uh, will but you I be able to break it down for us, these comparisons that you want us to do? And I, I'm not quite sure where you want to go with the comparison. No, but, where, where I want mm -hmm. to go is to say that <clears throat> it is time, you know, to focus on, that is what we attempted to do, on the issues, you know, collectively, and look at solutions. What, are, what solutions can be short-term, and what solutions over time, which would increase the supply of you know, foreign currency, you know. Okay. Uh, because you see, it is, it's a question of uh, people need, um, people need the dollars mm -hmm. to pay for imports, and that's the demand side. Then there are the cocoa farmers, the miners, and others who are boosting the supply, okay. you know, who are making that money available. So at various points, what is needed to support imports, you know, maybe lower than what is available to support that import. Okay. I, I hope you're getting. But that's a that's a long-term solution, isn't it? But that is what also happens from day to day. Okay. And that is why. So we keep that pushing the, the solution money, and saying. And that's why Bank of Ghana has to be pumping in some money okay. from our reserves. You build reserves, so when the supply of say dollars you know, it's not enough. And for that reason, the exchange rate, which is the price, is keeping the prices up. Mm -hmm. You know, then you go into your reserves and... And pump in some and, money. And put in some which money. Which is what the, Ghana, the Bank of Ghana did in, yeah. in, in, <clears throat> between 2017 and 2018. That, that is what the Bank of Ghana is actually set up to do. Okay. It's one of its primary functions. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so would you have done the same thing if you were the finance minister then? 2017, 2018. Well, in, 20, in, two, mm. in 2013, you know, 2012, 2013, and particularly in 2015, 2016, remember when the price of, you know, um, crude oil, you know, went down. Yeah. When the Jubilee tariff bearing um, FPS mm. went down, mm. we did not end that much foreign exchange. Yeah. And so we were engaged in some of these same discussions. Okay. The difference is that we have had. And at least my point, the difference now is that we have had about 200% more supply of foreign exchange into the economy. Well, if so, you say we have had 200% more, is let it, me put it between in, when and when? Be, from 20, the end of 2016, mm -hmm. 2015, 2016, when we had, you know, those crises. Okay. Uh, when the price went down, output went down. Now, the supply of foreign exchange, let me put numbers, into the economy was about 500 million from, say, oil, okay. from crude oil. Okay. Today, we are making, you know, something above 1 billion, you know, 1.8 billion. From and crude oil? From crude oil alone, to complement cocoa. You well, know, what's the figure again? 1 billion? 1.7 1 billion. 1 billion, 7 billion. billion. Yes. Okay. So, so what we, one is saying is, you know, what is it, that's what I mean by the period. What is it that is going on? which we may not know, considering that if you are comparing the period back then mm -hmm. or further back as you, yeah. you put it, yeah. you know, and now, you know, there, there is more supply into the economy. So, so what it is should, it? So what is it that is it not working? Which is not That's working. a very interesting yes. uh, uh, way you put it. And I'm, I, I, and I'm going to, <coughs> so first of all, doing economics is very, is, is, is quite challenging. So I'm going to try and break it down. Well, as your, 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 as your ordinary questions are leading to, you know, <laughs> I know, as much as possible. So the point that you